Argentina is facing a serious financial crisis. The situation is dire, and the country is grappling with severe economic challenges that have left its citizens and government in a state of uncertainty. The country is running out of money, businesses are closing, and people are finding it increasingly difficult to make ends meet. The economic landscape is bleak, with many storefronts shuttered and wallets empty. It's struggling to pay its debts. The government is facing mounting pressure from creditors, and overdue financial obligations are piling up. Long lines outside banks have become a common sight as people desperately try to access their funds. To avoid a complete economic meltdown, Argentina needs a quick infusion of cash. Financial experts are working around the clock to find solutions, and the finance minister is making urgent appeals for international assistance. That's why it's seeking a $2.7 billion loan. This substantial amount of money is seen as a lifeline that could help stabilize the economy, at least temporarily. This money would provide temporary relief and buy Argentina some time. It would allow the government to address immediate financial obligations and prevent further economic decline. But it's not a long-term solution to the country's deep-rooted economic problems. Economists warn that without significant structural reforms, the relief provided by the loan will be short-lived. The situation is complex and concerning. Citizens are worried about their future, and financial analysts are closely monitoring the situation, hoping for signs of improvement. Argentina has a history of economic instability. The country has faced numerous financial crises over the decades, each leaving a lasting impact on its economy and people. This latest crisis is fueled by a combination of factors. These include high inflation, government overspending, and a lack of confidence in the Argentinian peso. Prices in supermarkets are soaring, and the cost of living is becoming unbearable for many, and a lack of confidence in the Argentinian peso. The currency has been devalued significantly and people are losing faith in its stability. Currency exchanges are busy as people try to convert their pesos into more stable currencies. The $2.7 billion loan is a desperate attempt to stabilize the situation. Government officials are working tirelessly to secure this loan, hoping it will provide the necessary respite. But it remains to be seen if it will be enough. The road to recovery is long and uncertain, and the people of Argentina can only hope that this financial aid will mark the beginning of a more stable and prosperous future. Argentina is turning to a complex financial instrument called a repurchase agreement, or repo, to secure this emergency funding. A repo is essentially a short-term loan. It involves selling an asset, in this case likely government bonds, with an agreement to buy it back at a later date at a slightly higher price. This price difference represents the interest on the loan. While repos are common in financial markets, they are typically used for short-term liquidity needs. Argentina's reliance on a repo to cover its debt obligations highlights the severity of its financial situation. The country is essentially pawning its assets to make ends meet. This is a risky strategy. It could further erode investor confidence in Argentina's economy. Two major international banks are at the forefront of negotiations for this crucial loan, Banco Santander and JP Morgan Chase. These financial giants are stepping in at a critical juncture, aiming to provide the necessary support to stabilize Argentina's economy. These banks have a long history of operating in Argentina. Banco Santander has been involved in the region for decades, providing various financial services and supporting local businesses. Similarly, JP Morgan Chase has established a significant presence offering investment banking, asset management, and other financial services. They are familiar with the country's economic landscape, both its potential and its pitfalls. Argentina's economy has seen periods of rapid growth and severe downturns, making it a challenging environment for any financial institution. The bank's deep understanding of these dynamics positions them well to navigate the complexities of the current situation. Their willingness to engage in these talks suggests a belief that a deal can be reached. The negotiations are intense, with both sides aiming to find a mutually beneficial agreement. The banks are bringing their expertise and resources to the table, hoping to craft a solution that will provide stability and growth for Argentina. However, these banks are also sophisticated financial institutions. They employ teams of analysts and experts who meticulously evaluate every aspect of the deal. Their goal is to ensure that the loan terms are favorable and that the risks are manageable. They are acutely aware of the risks involved in lending to a country in such dire straits, 
Argentina's economic challenges are well documented, and the banks are cautious about the potential for default or further economic decline. They are conducting thorough risk assessments to mitigate any potential losses. They will be looking for assurances from Argentina. The government must demonstrate a commitment to implementing necessary reforms and maintaining fiscal discipline. These assurances are crucial for the banks to proceed with confidence. These assurances might include fiscal reforms. The government may need to introduce measures to reduce the budget deficit, control inflation, and promote sustainable economic growth. Such reforms are essential to restore investor confidence and ensure long-term stability, and a commitment to responsible economic policies. This includes transparent governance, effective regulation, and prudent financial management. The banks will be closely monitoring these commitments to ensure that Argentina stays on the right track. The terms of this loan will be critical. They will include interest rates, repayment schedules, and conditions for disbursement. Both sides are negotiating these terms to ensure that they are fair and sustainable. They will determine whether it provides genuine relief. A well-structured loan can help Argentina address its immediate financial needs and lay the foundation for future growth. The banks are optimistic that their involvement will make a positive difference or simply delays the inevitable. The outcome of these negotiations will have far-reaching implications for Argentina's economy. The hope is that this intervention will lead to a sustainable recovery rather than just a temporary fix. A Section 4. The January Deadline. A Race Against Time. The clock is ticking for Argentina. The stakes are incredibly high and the pressure is mounting with each passing second. The country faces a critical debt payment deadline in January. This deadline is not just a date on a calendar, it represents a pivotal moment for Argentina's financial future. If it fails to make this payment, it could trigger a cascade of negative consequences. The repercussions would be felt not just within Argentina but could ripple through global markets. These could include a sovereign debt default, further currency depreciation, and a loss of investor confidence. The value of the Argentine peso could plummet, making everyday goods and services even more expensive for its citizens. And a deepening economic crisis. The economic downturn would likely lead to higher unemployment rates, increased poverty, and social unrest. The impact on everyday life would be severe with empty shelves in stores and a struggling street market. The pressure is on to finalize the $2.7 billion repo agreement before this deadline hits. Negotiations are likely intense, with both sides aware of the high stakes involved. Every detail of the agreement is being scrutinized as the future of Argentina's economy hangs in the balance. Both sides are trying to strike a deal that works in their favor. Argentina needs the money to stabilize its economy and meet its obligations, but it can't afford to agree to terms that would cripple its economy in the long run. The government is walking a tightrope, trying to secure the funds without compromising its economic sovereignty. But it can't afford to agree to terms that would cripple its economy in the long run. Economic advisors are working around the clock, analyzing financial charts and data to find a viable solution. The stakes are incredibly high, and every decision made in these negotiations could have far-reaching consequences. The banks, on the other hand, need to balance their desire for profit with the very real risks associated with lending to a country on the brink. They are assessing the potential returns against the risks of a default, which could result in significant financial losses with the very real risks associated with lending to a country on the brink. Financial analysts are meticulously weighing the options, considering the risk reports and potential outcomes. The decision to lend is not taken lightly, as it involves a complex interplay of risk and reward. In this high-stakes scenario, every second counts. The outcome of these negotiations will determine not just the immediate future of Argentina's economy, but also its long-term stability and growth prospects. The world watches as Argentina races against time, hoping for a resolution that will avert disaster and pave the way for a more secure financial future. Section 5. Potential Benefits. Breathing Room for Argentina's Economy. If Argentina secures this 